Hey, Indianapolis Motor Speedway fans, Doug Bowles here with you for another episode of Behind the Bricks. And I know you're saying, where are the bricks? That doesn't look like bricks. Well, you're right. I'm standing among the cattails and the milkweed here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And a few months ago, alongside our friends at Keep Indianapolis Beautiful, we actually did a biodiversity study to understand the plant species and the animal species that actually make the Indianapolis Motor Speedway their home. There are over 196 different plant species here on the property and 57 animal species. And we thought, let's take a little step through time here at the Speedway, give you an opportunity to see what you might see when you're playing golf here or you're coming out to watch the Indianapolis 500. So what started as about 300 acres in 1909 has turned into almost 1,000 acres today that the Indianapolis Motor Speedway property sits upon. And that means we have to manage an awful lot of plants and an awful lot of wildlife. And that takes experts to do that. So today we're bringing in Ryan Franklin, who's our grounds manager, and really is the person who is that expert that helps us understand what we have here and really helping us take a look at that biodiversity study and figure out how we can use that to think about our sustainability and then how we get better taking care of our, our, our plants and our animals going forward. So Ryan, we're standing here today. I mean, there's so many plants in this place. It's, it's amazing. It is. There's quite a few out here. A lot of our plants are going to be native. So you're going to have your black-eyed Susans, your milkweeds. And a lot of these native plants are going to be beneficial to our wildlife out here. They're going to create habitats, food, everything they need to survive and thrive out here. I mean, we're in the middle of the city. So is it surprising to be in one location and have this number of plant life together? That is one thing we like to you know, pride ourselves on working at a golf course, working in this industry, is that we're able to kind of create this habitat for the wildlife and also for people to come out and get away from the city and get in more green space. So what's a day in the life of Ryan Franklin look like in the busy time of the year as you start to think about our plant life here at the Speedway? So uh, it all pretty much starts up in spring. Once that snow melts, we're actively going. We're starting to look at what we need to start mowing, areas we need to identify and prove on. Getting ready for the race is always a big part of that. But you know, we sit down, we meet with our crew every morning, highlight what areas we need to identify and go out and work on making this place look better and also helping out the plants. So as we stand here sort of on the on the banks of the golf course and, and Little Eagle Creek below us, what are some of the things that we see right here behind us? So the big one is you're going to see there, sycamore tree sitting there. It is just an absolutely beautiful tree. Right now we're in fall, all the colors are starting to change. Uh, we do have some maple trees out here. We do have some thistle in here, which is actually an invasive species. What we are trying to uh, get out of here to make room for our uh, natural grasses. We have a lot more native grasses that we are trying to identify and bring those in to help. So in addition to those 196 species of plant life that are here, we have an awful lot of animal life that's here as well. With the water that runs through the golf course, how much of that animal life is here in the water? We have a very uh, abundant uh, amount of wildlife in our waterways here. We see anything from bass, bluegills, carps, turtles, we have soft shell, we have box shell turtles, we have a wide variety. The birds that come in here are wonderful as well. So you'll see your blue herons, your green herons, red-tailed hawks in here as well. So that green heron was surprising, right? Yes, it was a very nice surprise to see that, yeah. That's fantastic. Now, I hate to ask, but snakes? There are snakes here as well. <laughs> we avoid those as best we can. So Keep Indianapolis Beautiful during the biodiversity study found that there are at least 57 different species of animal that live here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. A lot of them we have seen on the racetrack or around the racetrack. But they start over here. Some of them actually live inside the racetrack. We got fox that we think have dens inside the racetrack. Yes, we believe there's a couple fox in there. Uh, out here, you're going to see raccoons. You'll possibly see some deer out here, purple martins. So you'll see a lot of wildlife when you're out here on the golf course. It's pretty neat to think about we're a racetrack and a golf course, and we have all this wildlife and plant life. And you look around here, it's amazing what lives here. It really is. And it's uh, a very nice asset that we have here that we're able to provide all this green space, all this habitat for the wildlife, for them to thrive in and uh, take advantage of what we can do here. Well, Ryan, thanks for all your help making the Indianapolis Motor Speedway special and a home to those 196 plant species and 57 animals. So there you have it, race fans. It's the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We are a racetrack first and foremost, but we also have a responsibility to make sure we take care of all the animals and plant life that are here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Hard to believe sometimes. There's a solar farm here. There's a golf course here. There's all kinds of animals and plants. And together, you all and us, we are gonna make sure that the Indianapolis Motor Speedway leads in our sustainability efforts and it sort of started with that biodiversity study and our friends that keep Indianapolis beautiful, helping us understand what we have here so we can make sure we take care of what we have here. See you next time on Behind the Bricks.